I'm gonna wash my face with the Cetaphil Gentle Clear. Okay, so I just rinsed my face, skin's still damp, and I'm making my way through this faded topicals. You know, after I wash my face, rinse the cleanser off, I kind of pat dry the excess water off a little bit, but my skin is still kind of damp. I just do like that much. So this product, it's in kind of, think of it like as an antioxidant serum. So tranexamic acid, given orally, is a treatment for melasma, but topically, it actually also shows promise for improving redness. So if you have dark marks and redness, I think you may see some improvement with this product. So products like this uh, are supposed to improve discoloration, dark marks. Some of the ingredients, how they work is they reduce oxidative stress that would lead to abnormal pigmentation upon exposure to UV. So a lot of it is basically trying to lessen the burden of damage that comes from exposure to sun. I'm coming in with a Ben Intense Protect this morning. Another key to fading hyperpigmentation is avoiding irritating skincare products. Like if you sit by a window and the sun is coming through the window, the UVA rays I've talked about, you know, they're going to contribute to hyperpigmentation, but the heat, the, the radiant heat from the sun can also worsen like melasma and stuff. You can think of that as like a antioxidant serum. And when it comes to antioxidants, it's a good idea to have them on board before you are exposed to UV because as soon as UV hits your skin, either from being outside in the sun or UVA rays coming through window glass, the free radicals are generated right away and having the antioxidants in there already on, in your skin, that's where you want them because your skin has its natural antioxidants, but they get depleted by you know environmental stressors. So having the topicals on board already it just gives your skin kind of an advantage when it comes to handling the damaging effects of UV radiation as well as other environmental stressors. Anyways, I'm gonna have my Athletic Greens. You guys were asking about it. You had some questions last week. Today's video is sponsored by Athletic Greens. Y'all know I've been drinking it for like two years now. It is like my all-in-one multivitamin, but yeah, I just got a new order in the mail. Perfect timing, because I'm just about out. Um, one bag lasts me a month. And what is it, you may be wondering? Well, it is an all-in-one comprehensive nutritional drink. It is made from whole food sourced ingredients. It's got 75 vitamins and minerals. And you guys were asking, like, what do you mean by whole food source? They are super strict with the ingredient quality. So it ensures the most bioavailable forms of the ingredients. One of the things I like about AG1 and why I choose this over other supplements on the market is the level of rigor that they put into ingredient selection and sourcing. Um, their product is NSF certified for sport, which is super important to me. It ensures that what is on the ingredient label is actually in the product. So yeah, that was a question that I was getting from you guys. And then someone else asked like, what does it taste like? It has a vanilla flavor to it. There's no sugar or anything in it. It's vegan, keto friendly, paleo friendly. There's no gluten. Um, it has a vanilla-ish taste to it, but it also kind of has a little bit of a pineapple tang to it. It's not bitter like a lot of those green powders that you know you may have tried before. You know, I'm just gonna have it here in water. Yeah, it dissolves in water really quickly. I love it. I've just come to like really enjoy having this in the morning. It's like part of my routine. And a lot of you guys have started it since hearing about it in my videos. And you, you mentioned how you're surprised, how you just feel like you have a lot more energy. You were really skeptical about it, but yeah, I hear you there. I love it and it's just been a game changer for me. It's just perfect for bridging any gaps in your day-to-day -day nutritional needs. You know, I follow a vegan diet, I need to supplement with B12, but I don't like having a bunch of different supplements like, you know, vitamins and whatnot, taking a bunch of different pills, tablets. This has everything and that way it just streamlines everything. It ends up being more cost effective for me to do it that way. And I just love the taste. Now, when it comes to the vitamin D, they have a vitamin D dropper. And why I love theirs so much is that it also has vitamin K2 in it, which is necessary for good absorption of uh, vitamin D. Just gonna fill up my container here. Yeah, it's made in New Ze Zealand in a TGA registered facility. And 
I store mine in this container here and I, I keep it in the fridge for maximum freshness. So for those of you who are busy on the go and you're like, how am I gonna take this with me on trips and stuff? They make these great little travel packets. Uh, you can just throw them in your bag. Anyways, for those of you who have been on the fence about trying it, my offer still stands. Click the link in my description box because you can still get their vitamin D3 plus K2, the dropper. It's a year's worth of immune supporting vitamin D plus five free travel packets with your first order. So thank you AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Well, hey guys, I just finished filming a video on melatonin. I'm gonna head out in a moment, run some errands. But um, I have been putting together some graphics for my Instagram and I was putting together one on hand care tips. And I realized, is it just me? I think that Eucerin discontinued their hand cream with sunscreen. But uh, they still have the daily hydration cream with SPF 30. This is a great one. I think honestly, it's the same, I think, as their hand cream, just a bigger bottle. Um, but the reason I mentioned that is because I was putting together a graphic on hand care tips and I was gonna include their hand sunscreen and it doesn't look to exist anymore. But this, you know, I think is more or less the same product. But it's really moisturizing and it doesn't feel greasy or anything. It's a chemical sunscreen, so there's no cast. Um, so I think it's a good hand cream to just put on throughout the day and reapply to protect your skin from the sun. You know, when it comes to hand care, a lot of people don't realize that hands are super neglected territory. We're touching a lot of things that can compromise the integrity of the skin barrier. Plus you're washing your hands frequently and that strips away at your moisture barrier. So you really need to be mindful of the skin on your hands. By applying moisturizers and a moisturizing sunscreen, it really can help out a lot in kind of reducing the burden of damage to the skin of the hands. I mean, the, backs of the, the skin on the back of your hands is quite thin and throughout your lifetime, it's gonna see a lot of environmental stressors. Speaking of your hands, I've got my driving gloves on from Cooley Bar. Mine are in a size extra small. It's the Gannett style that has a little thing so you can touch your screen and what have you. I've had these four years. Honestly, everything I've ever purchased from Cooley Bar has withstood the test of time. I mean, it just lasts and the seams are really well stitched together. <laughs> Barnes and Noble. I read this a while ago and I rather enjoyed it. The large print version. I kind of like reading large print versions. Easier on the eyes. Ooh, crossword. It's always a good time. A long time ago, I watched a documentary on the Jim, is it Jim Shorts? Shorts? Schwartz? The guy who does the New York Times crossword puzzle? It was actually fascinating. <laughs> Ooh, they got, have Christmas stuff on sale. Little Dr. Seuss mug is cute. These homesick candles, they, I just took a whiff of this Houston one. It actually smells pretty good. It's kind of got a tobacco-y, leatherish scent. <laughs> I was hoping Let's Toast smelled like toast, but it kind of smells like champagne, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, I like this mug. The handle is nice. Dotted notebooks. 
Ooh, this is only three dollars. A guide to power pack seaweed, superfood, sea green. Y'all know I'm really into. Y'all know I'm really into seaweed. So I'm obviously out of the shower, but I went for a run before getting in the shower and I just finished up the another little bottle of the Skin Smart Antimicrobial Spray. I keep this on my treadmill and as I'm starting to sweat, I just miss myself with it because it helps cool the body down and it also has, it's hypochlorous. So that will help cut down on bacteria that break down sweat and lead to body odor. And it's also good, you know, if you're prone to acne breakouts on the body related to sweat or even on the face, it's safe to use in children. You can use it around the eyelids. If you get like styes, you can put a little bit like on a, like a cotton pad and do like a little compress. Yeah, it's a really great ingredient. And I've been recommending this brand for several years now, Skin Smart Antimicrobial love them they you can also use them on your pets as well um they're really good too for your feet to cut down on foot odor game changer i go through bottles of that every you know a couple of months i just keep it like i said on my treadmill speaking of treadmill you guys that treadmill i bought it at the beginning at the very 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 beginning like 2020 around march of shutdowns when the gym's closed and it is still going strong. I pretty much use it every single day. It was not super expensive. It's very, it's a very basic treadmill, but oh my gosh, it was the best money spent on Amazon far and away. I mean, I get a lot of good stuff on Amazon. It's actually <laughs> my strange addiction is scrolling on Amazon looking for fun finds. I don't, buy that much on well i do buy quite a bit of stuff on amazon but um yeah that was definitely the best big ticket purchase i've made from amazon for sure it's still going strong once in a blue moon you have to put more lubrication under the under the treadmill part i don't know what it is <laughs> the the deck yeah you'll have to lubricate that it comes with a bottle of silicone lubricant for it and so I've had to do that like twice in the lifetime that I've had it, which is typical for a treadmill, but it's really easy. It was really easy to set up. And yeah, like I said, I use it pretty much every day. I run or sometimes I'll just walk on it. As a matter of fact, if you hate exercising, I swear by getting a treadmill because you can just go like on a walk on it and, you know, watch a show or, you know, watch YouTube listen to an audiobook and you can just go at whatever pace you feel comfortable with and you'll get your steps in and that that's that makes a huge difference for your overall quality of life being you know mobile basically you don't have to be doing like you know some intense workout or anything so if you're intimidated about working out or whatever get in the habit of walking try and get in i mean they say 10,000 steps i honestly you know i think that is a good goal to shoot for but yeah, walking doesn't have to be crazy intense or anything. I found my glasses. They, they were missing for a little bit, but they are back. Yes, I do wear glasses. Oh, I actually mostly wear contacts. I was telling you about the treadmill, best investment. So that was a great investment. And then my rebounder. The only thing about my rebounder is I love it. I love using it. I do rebounder workouts actually through the Obey app. It's like a fitness platform, have great classes on there and they have like rebounder classes. So I've been doing it here and there, but the thing I don't like about it is it takes up too much space in my apartment. So I end up not keeping it out and, you know, setting it up. That's kind of like my excuse not to use it. If I had a dedicated like workout room, I would totally leave it up all the time and probably use it a lot more. But I love that too. It's by Leaps and Rebounds. I got that on Amazon too, but you can also get it from their website. Um, but it comes in handy should the, like, I don't know, should I not feel like running or something, I just want to change it up. I definitely like having that as an alternative. 
Anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. I hope you had a great weekend. You had fun with me. And don't forget, check out AG1. Take advantage of that discount code. Those of you who have been wanting to try it, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.